Hello students. Today we will learn about the internet and online surfing. Internet is defined as a network of millions of computers connected to each other worldwide through telephone lines or cables. You can relate the term internet to the telephone network or the interstate highway system which is spread across and interconnected to each other. It is the largest information database and has become a vital part of our lives. It enables the user to share ideas and search for information on any topic. The booming technologies of the modern age have made our life much easier and more connected across the globe via interconnected networks. Although the networks of today have provided great opportunities in almost all spheres, Still, there are various types of challenges and threats associated with them, about which we should remain cautious. In this chapter, we will give a brief introduction to several internet services like email, online chatting, video conferencing, e-learning, social networking, etc. The various threats associated with the use of internet and the best practices that should be followed while using internet. Email, the most popular means of online communication, will be further discussed in detail in this chapter. Let us first talk about the popular internet services. Email Email is an economical mode of communication. It facilitates in sending the messages and files such as pictures, songs, videos, etc. to multiple people at the same time. Online chatting. Chat is a more personalized form of communication and is live. This amazing way of communication allows users to send instant messages back and forth to each other. You can also interact with other users through voice and video chats. Chatting on the internet can take place via instant messenger, chat websites, chat rooms, etc. Video conferencing. A video conference can be described as a phone call with pictures that allows multiple people sitting at geographically different locations to communicate by exchanging video and audio at the same time. It is the best option to have face-to-face -face interaction in real time. E-learning E-learning means electronic learning. It refers to the learning with the use of technology that enables people to learn anytime or anywhere. It is less expensive than traditional learning and can be used to impart training to a large group of students at the same time in an interactive and interesting manner. Thus, it saves time and reduces the need for costly classroom-based training. We can also download study material from universities which may incorporate various types of media like audio, text, virtual environments, video and animation. Internet free calls Another feature in the cap of internet is that it lets you make free voice calls and video calls to anyone across the world. You can make free calls at much lower rates to any place in the world. Some software even allows you to send free messages and videos along with free internet calls. The only condition is that the particular software or application should be installed in the devices at both the ends. After installing the software on a mobile or computer system, you need to create an account on it. Examples of such software or applications are Skype, Viber, Fling.com, Tango, Reptel, and Google Hangouts. E-Groups An e-group, electronic group, is a virtual meeting place for individuals who share the same interest. It provides a platform for people to share information on topics of their interest, messages and photo albums. An e-group typically contains a discussion or message board where members can discuss topics of their choice by posting a message. All the other members of this group can view or reply to this post. Social Networking A social networking site is an online platform that focuses on facilitating the building of social networks or social relations among people 
who share interest, activities, backgrounds or real life connections etc. Social networking can be done for social purposes, business purposes or both. Social networking sites are also called social media. Some major social networking sites in use are Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Internet TV Internet TV can be defined as a medium of delivering television content over an internet connection. It is available wherever a broadband connection exists. Internet TV is also known as web television. It is more like a replacement for cable TV with similar offerings and same fee. Internet TV options include web-based shows, video on demand, VOD and regular television shows hosted on the channel's website. You can watch Internet TV anytime on a computer screen, TV screen or a mobile phone by searching and retrieving the programs of your choice. Some of the popular service providers of Internet TV are Netflix, Hotstar, Sony, LIV, etc. Internet Radio Internet Radio, as the name suggests, is an online radio service that is broadcasted over the internet on dedicated radio servers. It is broadcasted in much the same way as traditional radio with regard to its presentation and format. Internet radio has been in existence since the late 1990s. Unlike the traditional radio station, which has its broadcasting limitation, typically up to 100 miles, Internet radio has no limitation. It is capable of broadcasting graphics, text and links with audio, thus serving all the senses of the listeners. Some of the popular internet radio services are Vivid Bharti, Radio Mirchi, Pandora, etc. Now let us understand the advantages and disadvantages of internet. Advantages Powerful search engines like Google, Yahoo, etc. facilitate finding information on almost every subject. People can connect with each other in an easy and inexpensive way. Through social networking and discussion boards, one can find persons who have similar interests. Email, Skype and Facebook are just a few examples of service providers that bring the world closer. A handful of online services that enable people to carry out their tasks while sitting at home such as e-banking, e-reservation, e-shopping, etc. Internet provides the facility to share information with many users simultaneously in an easy manner. Students, do you know Jerry Yang and David Filo are the founders of www.yahoo.com. Yahoo is an American computer service company founded on March 2, 1995. Disadvantages Sharing of information over internet is not fully secure, especially when it involves sensitive information such as credit or debit card details, passwords, etc. Moreover, the information you find on internet is also not always correct and accurate. Computers connected through internet are prone to virus attacks. This slows down the system and can result in the loss of important data of a user. Hackers attack computer systems on a network for monetary gains. They steal and transfer money from various bank accounts to their own. Cybercrimes such as child abuse, forgery, phishing, farming etc. are growing day by day 